I have uh, now placed that into a piping bag and I'm using a large tip. Uh, this came out the extra, extra large tips that I bought um, from Amazon a while ago. I think one of the ladies won, won some in the raffle as well. I've not seen the shape before, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, it is a very similar size to the 2D, if you are wondering. So the bigger the, um, the piping tip, obviously um, the more surface area we're going to be able to cover. Just before I get started, as always, I always have a baby wipe to hand to wipe the nozzle, especially if we're stopping and starting, which we probably will be doing, um, and a little tool, um, just in case it gets clogged up. Um, obviously, if it happens, I will show you. We just need to uh, push that out. So a little craft knife or a little bamboo skewer as well, just a hand. So I'm just going to twist the top. Pull this forward and then we are ready to pack. So I'm going to start on the back because that is the larger one. Like I say, I'm not going to, um, you know, pipe round like a big cake or anything like that. I'm going to be quite messy because it's um, it's going to be like icing snow sort of um, effect. That's my plan. So let's just see if this, uh, how big this piping tip is. So obviously if your bag is really full like mine, you're going to need to squeeze from the top and halfway down make sure it's all coming out all the ends to start with using your baby wipe so I know I cannot go over this rim here because that's where the candle sits so I don't want to take my polyfiller too high on any of them um, but obviously right now we're just going to cover the um, the cardboard I have started I thought I had it recording I haven't so just put some pressure um, on your little plate to go with so far and then I'm just going to sort of tap this just all over squeezing it like I say I'm not going to be um, precise with it my aim to start with is just to cover the cardboard so if you feel like your polyfiller is coming off just give it a little bit of a tap um, once you get layer on layer it'll be absolutely fine so again, I'm just putting pressure on this for now. I'm just going to squeeze underneath. Like I say, I know I can't go above this part here where the candle sits. Just flip it this way. And I'm just going to take that inside here. Go down. And just cover all that cardboard. So if you've got a tiny little bit of uh, gap at the top here um, don't be tempted to put your polyfiller back in there because it'll all start spilling out um, just grab yourself a little tool this is the first thing that comes to hand um, or a little skewer or something like that um, and then you can just pull that up I think that might be a bit too thick let me grab my craft knife just pull that up and just roll it inside So I've covered the first one. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work, go over the second one. There's a, again, you can see a little gap. I'm doing it as I go, but normally I do it afterwards. So I'm just going to tuck the polyfiller inside that little gap there. Just drag it down. Bamboo skewers are always really good, or a little cocktail stick for that. Um, obviously, if it was quite a big area, um, I would go back in with my polyfiller, but. You know, as you can see, the tip is really big. So let me just get my baby wipe again. So we've got no cardboard to fill on this part. So this time I'm just going to take it just around that rim. I'm not concentrating on any other bits at the minute. And in there. Um, and then again, I'm going to go around this edge here. Just covering that cardboard. I think that is the uh, best way to start it. So can you see that sort of like come out? Again, just take a tool, and push that into place. Any gaps, let's say I will fill out in a second. I will uh, grab a little skewer for that. So the aim to start with is just to get that cardboard covered. 
So I know I can get that under there, so I'll get me just cover this piece. And a little bit up here. Tuck that in. Like I say, I'm going to be really messy with it. If it was a cake or something like that, um, I would do it slightly different with my piping. Um, don't like that gap under there. Again, I know my little tip will go under here. So I'm just going to cover that as well. So we've covered all the cardboard. So now I'm going to take it to the back. It gets easier the further down you get. You've got, a, you know, you don't need to keep squeezing it uh, from the top and the bottom. And I'm going to squeeze quite hard just so it fills out this back piece. So let me just uh, fill my bag back up. I've just filled it right to the top again. Doesn't matter. Uh, obviously, you know, you can squirt this back into your pot because we haven't um, coloured it or anything like that. So we've got as far as here. So I'm going to take it because I'm right handed. I'm going to go around this way. So now what I'm going to do is just fill out all the gaps. Again, your first one might lift off slightly. Don't worry, it will uh, set. Right, I'm just going to cover all of this cardboard now. Working all the way around. Covering the middle, the outside. Taking it round to that rim. So I'm going around the rim and then filling in the gaps. So let me just finish this um, other section here. So I've just filled out that part. Keep waving my tip as I stop. And now I just want to go in just in the gap here. So you can obviously go to a smaller tip if you want to. I'm just going to start just squeezing and just pulling up. Just filling out any of the, the gaps that I have. So I've got one, can you see, in here. So if it's quite a big gap, put a little bit more pressure on um, and that way your polyfiller um, <coughs> will come out a lot sort of like thicker. This was the uh, first part that we started once we filled up the back, can you see? So you can just go over that bit. Now it's all stuck down. If it doesn't stick, I never explain that, I just do it. Um, just pull it off and then just go back in. So this is my front, as you can see we've gone all the way around. So let me just wipe my hands because we do need the candles for this next part just to see how far further up we need to go with this filler. So I know my blue is going to the back, I'm obviously um, at the moment this will definitely not hit your filler so don't worry about this part um, and we don't want it too far up, um, that one went on this side that one went on this side so that's what it looks like um, I feel like the back piece just needs a little bit more around that rim I can't bring you down any closer I don't think um, I've got a little bit more here to fill out can you see uh, but like I say I don't want to put any more polyfiller around these two pieces other than that little gap there um, and then obviously if I take this off, can you just see that bottom part here? But my candle sits just along that rim. So I can take my um, filler again. And I'm just going to squirt that. Just on that top piece. And just work around. So again, I'm not being neat with it at all. So I definitely know I'm gonna need a little bit more here. Let me just wipe the tip. You'll know when you need to wipe it because it gets a little bit thicker. 
and sort of like clogs up a little bit. So a bit more here. Push that on there. So I've just gone all the way around just to sort of uh, balance it out. Tiny bit in here. Like I say, just keep building it up as much as you like. I'm just going to blend that little bit in there. And then a tiny bit under here. Like I say, if your tip is far too big, uh, you can switch to a smaller one um, or just sort of um, drag it up. I'm hoping I can just get my tip just in this little section here. There we go. So I'm just going to push that filler just down so it's not hitting the top piece. Otherwise my candle might go wobbly once that's dried. So I know this is the blue that's so much better so you can see where it sort of like hits it's made a little lip but it hasn't gone on my print still decided on which which color to do where maybe like this so I've gone all the way around kept some height at the back like I say I don't want to go any higher because obviously we're going to uh, cover that print and then you will just need to keep these candles on for now uh, while we add the other bits and pieces I'll just straighten these up there we go so the next piece is the um, little printout like this. I've joined it all together rather than, um, you know, sometimes we do the little triangles. Um, I did like it grouped together with the um, darker colour around the edge. So just grab your lollipop stick. Like I say, normally we uh, build these before, uh, but the polyfiller will stay uh, quite wet uh, for a while because we have put quite a lot on it. So with your lollipop stick, again, this will come included. I'm just going to use my glue gun just on the back here and then just place my stick in the middle like this. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. We always laugh about that. Obviously, this is quite high, so I'm just going to snip off the bottom just by. I'm not going to pop it straight into the polyfiller just yet. Just keep, in, uh, keep trimming it down. To the height you want this is the fun part decorating I love this piece I love doing this part so everything will feel wobbly um, obviously once your polyfiller sets it will all sit into place now as I always say if um, you know you let it dry for about 24 hours it will get sort of like a, a coating on it um, it still won't be um, set inside so you know if I was to come in tomorrow and that is not stuck at all very much doubt it but just in case um, you will have a little hole of uh, where this has come out of just put some uh, tacky glue inside and then just push it um, into your little hole so I'm gonna have that there and that's a good thing about putting these bases on because they're not going to be glued in you know you can swap and change them if you like So I'm just going to keep decorating to the front to start with. That's just the way uh, my brain takes me, shall we say. Um, so let's see what else. So anything that I use will be included in this kit. Um, I have got some of these out, which I think are going to look really nice. Um, I've got some sweets out, some uh, little jelly sweets as well. Obviously, once you push this into your uh, polyfiller, um, you are pretty committed, shall we say. But, you know, if you push something in and think, oh, no, I don't like that, 
you know, wipe it off with a baby wipe. Go back in with your um, your little tip again and then just fill it out. You know, it's it's not the end of the world if it does happen. Obviously, this whole thing is going to be glittered as well, which will bring everything together. Um, so let's we'll see what colours we've got in this. We've got purple, we've got mint, uh, peach, blue, and then there's a pink. Let me just grab the pink over here. So you'll get all four colours in this. Uh, like I say, it's going to be sort of a 360. You know what I'm like, I always decorate um, just to the front. Um, whether this is going to go on my display in here or on my um, table, uh, which we discussed at the beginning, I'm not quite sure yet. But I will obviously add some charms along the back as well. Um, so I'm just going to start placing these just in the little gaps like I say if it feels like it's going to fall out trust me once that filler um, gets into place it'll be absolutely fine so just push these into your filler so can you see like this one look it just lifts out and gives me a little bit of a circle so if that doesn't set I know where to put my tacky glue uh, once on my clay uh, sorry polyfiller is set but it, it really does set. Um, let me have a look. So I think I'm going to go all the way around with these. So I'm going to do one over here. Uh, one over here. So you can still visually see it from the front. And then I'm going to flip this around. This is where this comes in handy. Um, and then I'm going to put this at the back. Um, let me see. Down here. So if I've got any um, little bit of cardboard exposed, I am not going to go ahead and pipe that. I will let everything dry and then just run another layer of my piping. Um, along that once everything is dried so I'm not worried about that just yet don't be tempted uh, to fill it out there's no need to panic right let's add some more bits I've left this part exposed you will get three little gingers uh, one with a blue bow one with a mint bow and a pink bow as well so this all matches the colours. Um, so let me, because that's pink, I'm going to go in with the, the blue. And I'm just going to pop his little feet just in there. Um, I'm going to bring the pink further to the front. And then my last one, probably going to put in this gap over here. So I always tend to start with the uh, larger charms and then go down in size. So the next charms um, in size are the macrons. So you get one of each of these. Now you can stack these together by using your glue gun and have a stack somewhere. Um, I'm just going to place these randomly again, just, just along the bottom somewhere. Uh, let me go chocolate over here. So I'm just going to push that into my filler. I don't want them too flat. Um, and because I've got peach over here, I'm going to go for mint. Um, do that the opposite way. Um, and then take this one round the back. And again, I'm just going to fill in. I don't want it there because of the peach. I'm going to go over here in this gap. So we are now just building everything up. Uh, so the next print you will find is the little gingerbread bakery sign. So again, we are just going to mount that onto a uh, stick. So you can use a bamboo skewer or a lollipop stick. Let me just grab one of those. 
and I'm just going to run my glue gun just like we did on this first step just along this uh, bottom part here sorry in the middle and then align my stick in the middle so I've just popped that on uh, so again visually as always as I keep saying um, I do want this uh, to the side somewhere so you can see it so I'm just going to take my snips and just trim that down a little bit whether I go this side in this little gap here or over here uh, let me just have a look I do like it over here somewhere so I'm just going to push that inside there so you probably won't be able to see that from the front but as we spin it around you'll be able to see it so if it feels loose like I say don't worry you can either go back in with some polyfiller I'm just going to show you actually I know it'll stick but just in case uh, you can just add a little bit more polyfiller where it's going to go that'll just give you a little bit more surface area for it to stick uh, but obviously if you've got a lot of polyfiller already on there you won't have to do that piece so I only um, thought we we're going to need one of these however you're going to get two because I do want one the other side so let me spin it round um, I want another one in this gap here I'm going to keep that obviously to the back um, you know as it's drying because obviously this back piece doesn't have um, sorry you're gonna have shot um, doesn't have any print on the back so if I twist it this way place that on there you know when you um, spin it 360 you can't actually see the back so I'm just gonna take my tool just move you in because I've been uh, showing you I'm just gonna work just roll that up on my stick just to close up that gap so I like that there like that there and then we're going to do another one in this gap here so again we're just going to take um, a skewer or a lollipop stick you can even use a straw as well which will be really nice um, and then I'm going to add it into this corner so let me just do that now sorry for all the rustling <laughs> um, so I have um, added a little stick I've cut it down a lot shorter and I've just poked that just in that corner of my polyfiller so this is far as we've got now obviously you know if you want it um, sorry the signs it oh gosh you can tell it's getting warm in here um, if you want your uh, signs covered in the back what you will need to do um, is just take you can take a little strip of uh, felt or something like that um, and then just mount that on the back before obviously you stick it in just use the the square as your guide and then you can glue that over the top you know if you are worried about seeing that but to be fair it's white um, it's probably me just being really fussy as always I'll just push that up so next we're going to go down onto the um, smaller charms so we have some of these little sugar glitter hearts um, there is some with the pink middle some with the purple middle and some with the blue so you will get uh, two of each color in total and again I'm just going to put mine randomly um, around the whole perimeter <laughs> that's a long word so I'm going to do my pink inside here Um, let's take some blue so I'm just filling out the little gaps with my sweets um, let's rustle a little bit more <laughs> I'm gonna go in this gap over here and do a little purple um, another pink over here I've done purple, I've done pink, 
Got the purple over here. I don't think we need much more. Um, and then I've got a blue, which I'm going to do down here. I thought I was going to add a spoon however I am going to um, diss that idea should we say you can obviously mount this um, onto a spoon as well which was another idea of mine I just feel like I've got a lot going on now especially when all these candles have lit up um, I don't want to go too mad with it I don't want it to look uh, too clustered but like I say that is just my own little preference um, I feel I've just got a tiny gap down here, so let me see what I'm going to put in there. Um, right, I'm going to go for mint, so again, this will be included in your kit. So I'm just going to um, place that up right like this. And then maybe just a little contrasting colour to the front, a pink. And I think I am really happy with all the placement. Like I say, I don't want to go too mad. Um, I could have added the spoon. I was thinking about maybe some ribbon over the top. No, I'm happy as it is. So I ended up attaching a little blue spoon on here. So obviously that'll be included in your kit. Um, I just used some strong tacky glue. I thought I'd film this, but I didn't. Um, just on the back of this spoon here, I didn't go right the way along because obviously this area here is really small. I just snipped off the um, little circle end with my um, snips. And then lastly, just before you see the finished results, I need to add my batteries into my candle. Um, I'm just going to take my clear PVA glue. It's a lot thinner, spreads a lot better than your uh, tacky glue. And I'm just going to dip in with a paintbrush, maybe a thinner one, something like this. Just going to dip in. Um, I'm going to avoid any cardstock because obviously it will run. Um, anywhere the, where I want my glitter, I'm just going to add all my tacky glue. Uh, dip of obviously over the end. Um, of my polyfiller as well because this is sort of like getting a crust on it it's certainly not dry um but obviously my glitter is not going to stick now it's got that little film on film on the top should we say so i'm just going to dip in start coating where i want my glitter all over and that way i know it's going to stick um and then one, once i've done that I'm going to add some um, of the glitter flakes that we used previously for the little uh, dough spill. And then I'll be back with the finished result and obviously add my batteries. I am now back with the finished result. As you can see, I've popped this on a plastic stand. Um, it fit perfectly. I've added a couple of little spoons as well down there. Um, I got this uh, plastic stand from a shop called Trotter's Traders. They're only 2 99 um, like I said, they're only plastic. Let me try and hold you while I spin it. Um, I've, obviously, everything is still drying. Um, I've gone right the way along the edge as well and covered all that um, cardboard. So I have done a 360 with this, which is very unusual for me. Um, I've added a couple of little spoons, obviously, because my base is quite big. So just to give you an idea, you know, obviously, you can put it on a base. Um, once this goes on my table or on my display... I'll probably add um, a few little bits and pieces just to match around the edge. Um, obviously, these are all, you know, you can pop these off to take your batteries out and switch them on and off because obviously these are little stands. Um, that's the way I've placed these so far. So let me just uh, switch the lights off and let's see how bright they are. So the sun is still shining through my windows. But as you can see, they are really bright. I love the way it turned out. Obviously, you can do different stands. It's completely up to you uh, of what you do. You can't really see the... Oh, you can. Um, you can see all the glitter. I wasn't quite sure whether you could see that on camera. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
I cannot wait to see your creations and I will see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody.